Your Majesty, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor for me to represent the Swedish Parliament, the Riksdag, on this very special occasion. It was the Riksdag that decided to establish the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, CIPRI. 50 years later, we are gathered here to celebrate the anniversary of a world-renowned organization. The idea of a Sweden-based but international Peace Research Institute originated in a time that was characterized by arms race, conflicts, and serious threats towards international peace and security. Sweden's 150 years of peace were a great exception in that world. In commemoration of this long-standing peace, Prime Minister Elander's government presented the proposal to establish CIPRI. Alva Myrdal, who led the commission of inquiry that preceded the proposal, emphasized in the Riksdag debate that there was strong support in the Riksdag for establishing CIPRI. And she also said, and I quote, if I may be allowed to add the fact that this positive interest is shared in many parts of the world, and the initiatives of the government have met with much more appreciation than would have been the case if we had preferred to commemorate our 150 years of uninterrupted peace by constructing some monument made by stone. And I think Alva Myrdal was absolutely right. The work of CIPRI and what you have done had benefited Sweden and peace in a much better way than a monument in stone. During the, Riks during the years, the Riksdag has continued to have mutual points of contact with CIPRI, and not only by means of budget decisions that we take every autumn. I know that our members of parliament are to be found among politicians, diplomats, researchers, and debaters, all of whom find its works extremely useful. CIPRI is an important actor within its field. Facts, analysis, and research enjoy international recognition. This recognition emanates from the fundamental values that have together built CIPRI's good name. Here I would like to highlight the importance of autonomy and independence. Independence has been of importance ever since the foundation of CIPRI, aiming at an objectivity not possible to put to question. I think that was a wise starting point. People who are trying to find the answers to complex questions need access to objective facts and a balanced knowledge base. Facts like these, originating from independent research, based on open sources, make up a thorough information base. CIPRI has its own library and several databases. It also produces a large number of publications. Among these, the CIPRI yearbook is well known and I can say widely used. Okay, not all of us have read the book from page one to the end of the book. But I can assure you that most of us have looked into it, checked some facts and figures, and, you know, checking out the numbers, being sure that we are saying the right things in the debate or in speeches. CIPRI's principal fields of research concern regional and global security, armed conflict and conflict management, military spending and armaments, and disarmament, arms control and non-proliferation. Carrying out research on the subject of disarmament and arms control has been a priority since the beginning. These issues are also of great importance today. The international dimension is, of course, another significant part of CIPRI's profile. And listen carefully now, because this sentence is the best sentence in my speech. <laughs> CIPRI works for disarmament by arming us with knowledge. Based on objectivity, reliability, and with global representation, CIPRI's activities help bring about peace and conflict resolution. These are subjects we value, high, we value highly in Sweden and that we are happy to be associated with. 
Cypriot activities not only strengthen knowledge and understanding of peace and security in the world, but it also helps maintain a positive and strengthen image of Sweden. The threats against peace and security 50 years ago were noticeable. And the challenge of today and tomorrow to peace and stability are hardly less significant. Just to mention a few. Military rearmament, weapons of mass destructions, and control regimes are still urgent issues on the international agenda. Tensions have risen in our immediate vicinity, and a bloody war is going on in Syria, resulting in many human tragedies. The effect of changes in climate as regards conflict should not be underestimated. The fight against international terrorism is a common concern for all of us. Matters like these and Cyprus activities cover a truly changing spectrum. The need for knowledge and research is no less urgent today. In its presentation, Cypri makes a very important point. The Institute's vision is a world in which sources of insecurity are identified and understood, conflicts are prevented or resolved, and peace is sustained. This was exactly what the Riksdag decision of 1966 was about. This is what we want to achieve. On behalf of the Swedish parliament, the Riksdag, I would like to congratulate Cypri on the last 50 years. And I look forward to your continued efforts in the service of peace. Thank you very much. <laughs>